Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Plex Connect for your Apple TV 2 or Apple TV 3. Just before I get into it, uh, the supported firmware versions are on the screen at the moment. Uh, your Apple TV will need to be one of these firmware versions in order for this to work. So to do so, go into settings and then about and to make sure that your firmware version is in the list on the screen. So step one is installing Python. All links will be in the description below. But if you just want to open up a browser, you type in Python 2.7, go to the first link, scroll down to find our installer. Now I'm installing this on a Windows machine, so I'm just going to click on the MSI installer, save. And I will run this done thing. Install for everybody, next, next, next. Go for it. And while that's downloading, I will search for Plex Connect. Alrighty, so first link, Plex Connect. And now I will download the zip. And I will save it to file. Alrighty. Uh, that has been finished, yep. So now I will open up my download directory and I will extract files to a folder. I've got double up folders, so I'm just going to go into this one. I will cut this and now I'm going to put it in my C drive just under the scripts. Dump it there. Alrighty. Cool. Next is we need to generate some certificates for our virtual machine to allow it to work with Apple TV. So what we need to do is we need to go to and download OpenSSL. The link is found in the description. If you want to grab it from down there, come up with a page like this. Scroll down to the OpenSSL Lite. I'm using the Windows version again. again. From Next, 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 next. Sure, install. Oh, donation. Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to want to, I'll leave that open for now. I'm going to want to open up my command prompt, so cmd, right click, run as administrator. And now I'm going to want to type in a bunch of commands. Now you can find the commands in the document below. It'll be publicly available to download, so you can just copy paste. I'm just going to do that. Copy paste. Enter. Next line. Copy paste. Enter. And last line. Copy paste. Enter. And if we go to our C drive, you'll see our three little um, certificate files. Now what we can do is we can select, oh, they're not select windows, cut that, and I'll go into our Plex Connect master folder, go to assets, go to certificate, and paste them into there. Fantastic. And we're back, close that. With our CMD prompt still open, what we need to do is type in IP config and you'll grab the IP address of the machine that you were on. Now, what I've done is I've set a static IP address, so basically it never changes. So when I point my Apple TV to this later on, uh, the IP address will always be the same. So I recommend you do this exact same thing as well. So I've got my IP address, my subnet, my router, and then my DNS address is my router as well. So same, same. Get out of there, get out of there, go away. Uh, get rid of this. Now what we can do is we can run this script. So we go to Plex Connect, double click, and it starts up. And Windows wants to block it, but it's not very good at doing so, so we will allow it. So now we can see that it has been started and we've got a web server serving 
PS on 192.168.1.17, which is good. So now the rest of the configuration is done on the Apple TV. Okay, now that we're on Apple TV, we can go across to settings, and go to general, uh, click on our network, and then Wi-Fi. Uh, it's going to click into my network again, and we scroll down to configure DNS, and change that to manual. Now I'm going to change my IP address to the IP address that we mentioned earlier, which is uh, of my web server that we've just finished setting up. So mine was 192.168.1.17, and I'll click on done. And you can see my, oh, not there, yep, not yet. Go back, I'll scroll down to send data to Apple. I'll hover over that and click the play and pause button. And click on add profile. Uh, I'm just going to click on the OK to the terms and conditions. And now I'm going to type in the URL that's on the screen at the moment. And once I have that put in, click on submit. And you can see my server respond and the profile's being added there. Now, if we go all the way back and we scroll down to our trailers icon and click on OK or enter. You can see our server responding now and Plex Connect come up. So now uh, I'm not seeing any libraries in my Plex Connect area so I'm going to scroll across to settings and I'm going to sign in to my Plex account. Two hours later now that I'm signed in, just give it a few seconds to load. Any minute now. Apologies for the camera zooming in and out all the time. It's just having a hard time focusing. And still signing in. Once it's done that, I'm going to scroll across to library. I'm going to blur out a few of my other Flex Media servers here and go to the, my local one, which is uh, UIC. Go to movies and scroll across to all movies and now it will start loading up my entire movie library I think this should be a quick process and there we go now all my fan art or thumbnails start loading up and if I scroll down I just pick a movie at random here and how about the uh, okay this one click on that and wait for it to come up. It will load the movie information and then I will click on play. Give it a few seconds to buffer and because it's Blu-ray might take a little bit longer and there we go. Starting to play. That's pretty much it. So now you can pause, rewind, fast forward, etc. Just as uh, you would normally for any other movie on Apple TV. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any suggestions for any other tutorials, let me know. Thanks.